Shelby. <laughs> and we're gonna do a duet for you guys. The ad for the condo building read, safe, secure, and quiet. Occupied by single mature adults. It sounded perfect for me. Hey, neighbor! <sighs> but it wasn't. I got a giant blow of Santa for the front yard, and this little elf guy that flops over the wind and shows you striped skivvies. Celeste was not quite safe or an adult. In fact, if you told her these things, she'd probably smack you. The condo committee's gonna love it! Trust me, they wouldn't. No one spoke out loud about it, but Celeste single-handedly brought down her property values by 23%. Hey, honey, welcome. Consider yourself at home. Consider yourself part of the family. Um, ha, who are you? Your neighbor. She had a habit of yelling at things. Everyone knows opposites attract, but sometimes it takes a while. Especially if it's the epitome of an odd couple. My, My Quiet, Quiet neighbor, neighbor by Ira Brodsky and, and Barbara Loda. Well, don't just stand there. Give your new neighbor a big bear hug. Oh, I, uh... Oh, come on. I don't have lice now. Oh. <laughs> I got them from volunteering at the homeless shelter. Did she volunteer or did she live there? So why the change in locale? Leaving your husband? Uh, what made you think? You look very healthy and flush. They say single women are more healthy. Well, I'm not married. And this whole flush thing? Probably just sweating. So then I was right to order that pizza, to keep up your strength. I had it sent to your apartment. Pizza? Don't get your panties in a jam. I'll pay you back. Oh, no. Panties are jammed. Who is this person? <laughs> the delivery man's really cute. You'll like him. Uh, it's only 10 a.m.? It is never too early for pizza! Well, <laughs> I better get back to work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. A present <laughs> from your new neighbor. Uh, Babe, dry your sheets? I know. Most new neighbors would give you cookies or a fruit basket, but I didn't know if you were diabetic or hate bananas. And you gotta do laundry, am I right? Yeah. The box is open. God, I only used one. Then my dryer died. You don't mind if I use yours later, do you? Uh, no, that's fine, I guess. So where are you from? Parker Woods. Well, that's nice. Well, yeah, I lived there with my mother, and we got along very well. I never got married, and I don't think it's that strange at all. Neither do I. Y you know? No. I would have liked to say to my mom, too, but my stupid husband insisted I go with him. And then look what the stupid louse did. Well, might he divorced you? No, he died. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> don't be. I'm furious with him. It was years ago now. Besides, he's still in my life, messing up things as usual. He's the one that sets me up all these awful dates. Uh, he sets up your dates? Yeah, sort of. He talks to me in my mind. Who do you use for dates? Use. Oh, well, I don't really get out much. Smart girl. Of course I plan to change that all. Oh, gee, stupid me. Celeste H. E. Rolster. The H and the E stand for polyester. Not to be confused with polyester, which is a cheap fabric, and not my name. Not that I'm not cheap. You? Uh, Millie? No, not the name. Are you cheap? Uh, occasionally. Celeste drove me crazy. She didn't chat. She chewed your ear off. And when she was done chewing your ear off, she spit it out and stomped on it. She drove me crazy all night long, and she frequently invited, ordered Chinese food and delivered it to your apartment. Me, woo, I love your sweet and sour chicken! Like I said, she played loud music all night long. Ugh, so annoying. And she frequently invited me to her cat's birthday parties and coincidentally invited weird single men like Melvin, Bull, and Lewis, who she met at the local donut hole. Hey, hey, let's draw up a dating plan this weekend at the slumber party we're gonna have. Oh, what? A dating plan. It's a war, Millie, and you quite frankly need a strategy. We'll get out your DVD of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kids. That always gets my juices flowing. Um, I don't have that DVD, and besides, I don't see that thing. Yes, you do. I gave it to you as a present. No, you didn't. When? Oh, wait. I gave that to Betty. Well, we'll borrow it back, and it'll be fun. Did you say busy? With what? Yeah, my Aunt Robin is letting your cabin. I told you. No, you didn't. Funny. Alone? That was generally the idea, to get some peace and quiet. And you're going alone? Yeah, to get some peace and quiet. I see. I just wanted to catch up on my reading and meditation. Sure you do. And just because I drive you every week to Fred's Fruits 
Doesn't mean you owe me anything. I'm sure you need some alone time. No, Millie, it's, no, it's not like that. I just figured you wouldn't want to stay in the cabin all week, be calm and restful. Why the heck not? Well, for one, you're not particularly quiet. I'm quiet sometimes. I'm being serious. You're not going to want to be all quiet when there's a bunch of ski wear guys around. Fine. You come with me next time for sure. Right. You will. You're on. Terrific. Oh, come on. Can I come now? Please. <laughs> I'll be quiet. Quiet, quiet. So quiet. Please. Nope. It's supposed to be me waking for me. Not you. Fine. We arrived at the cabin at noon. <laughs> oh my god! Look at that view! Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous! Not that one, that one! The ranger in the tight green pants. <laughs> I suggested we walk up to the National Park Lodge. It was perfect. Den of winter, middle of the week. I settled into a nice cushioned chair as I began to read. Oh my god! You wouldn't believe it! The hot chocolate! It's real stuff! I'm kinda... Oh, right. Shh. I'll be quiet. Maybe I'll just take a little snooze. Good idea. Yeah, I want to be all fresh for our date tonight. Uh, date? Uh, what date? Just a couple of guys gonna take us skiing later. Skiing, Celeste? No, I told you. I want some peace and quiet. So? And who said they weren't gonna be quiet? They're Indians. The guy I say up seems like a real brooding type. Great, they sent me with a quiet Indian serial killer? No, 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 no. I said brooding, not murdering. And I meant they're from Indiana. Not Indians. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I told you, I want some peace and quiet. So, we'll do that all day tomorrow before the party, and all day today before we ski. And you can't even be quiet while you ski. Uh, not when you don't even know how to ski. Sure, you're going to be all quiet until you go smacking into a pine tree. Well, then things would definitely get quiet. <laughs> and party? <laughs> what party? Just a couple people gonna come over for a jacuzzi thing. It's not a big deal. Couple? What's a couple? 17 or Celeste, no party. Or 14, come on, it'll be fun. I told you. No, I want some peace and quiet. No. I don't. No. We can go skiing and that's it. Skiing. So skiing it is? Yeah, if it'll get you to leave me be for the rest of the week, I will. Okay, fabulous. Skiing it is. Okay, okay. Oops. Now that we went skiing, or uh -huh. we're gonna go skiing? Yep. I'm gonna go down the slope. Okay. 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 Yep. Ready? Yes. We'll just count to three and we'll just go. Yep. We'll count. You count. <laughs> we'll just we'll go. Okay. Yep. Ready? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. How are you sure you're ready? I uh, know, but let's go. <laughs> okay. okay. One, two, three. Ah! Hey! Don't worry! It'll be fun! And it was actually, because only two seconds later, a skier crashed into Celeste, pushing her over the hill, plunging her down the mountain. Ah! Mm! Ah! Celeste came out with two large bruises, a ski rental, and a couple potential hot dates, which the guy in her mind told her would work out. Me, I landed out with one broken leg. And you can't believe how nice Jed has been to me. Really? I'm sorry. I really am. What? This weekend has been terrible. A complete disaster. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh well, that's, that's your yeah. leg. Yeah. <laughs> God, I'm a rotten, terrible friend. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. What? Did you say thanks? Yeah, thanks for it all. Before this week, everything was predictable. But now, nothing's quite how I expected been good, really good. Even though you broke your leg? And then man. A quiet, brooding man from Indiana. And I introduced you. What a friend I am. You are, actually. So how about that jacuzzi party, huh? <laughs> <laughs>